All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Kodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Kodash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in our truth and in all sincerity. And I want to get into this article that's um, from RT, which is entitled Grain De Deficient Looming for EU. And pretty much what's happening right now is there's going to be a, a, a shortage of grain products because... Of this whole war that's you know happening in Ukraine right now between you know Russia and Ukraine all right and these two countries in particular they um, export you know a good you know chunk of the world's um, you know grain products okay all right and so pretty much you know this is gonna affect everybody all right and it's gonna start with you know those that are in Europe but eventually it's gonna spread you know worldwide Okay, it's going to eventually spread worldwide and pretty much what's happening is the um, what you're seeing is, you know, famines, they're going to start taking place very soon. Okay, and the reason why these things are taking place is because the Heavenly Father, all right, whom the world ignorantly calls God, all right, is setting everything up right now. You know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, hey, this is his movie. And this is how he's going to uh, basically punish the people, all right, for their wickedness. Okay, he, he's going to, uh, you know, basically have you people starve to death, you know, very soon. All right. And um, I'm going to read this article and then get a couple scriptures. All right. It says here, global wheat prices have been skyrocketing amid supply concerns. Greece's first deputy foreign minister, Mil uh, Titus Veravitz. Sotis said on Tuesday that the country and the EU as a whole should brace for a grain deficient as the result of the conflict in Ukraine and anti-Russia sanctions. All right, you see, with this whole, you know, conflict going on, it's going to affect the entire EU, all right, the, the European Union, all right? They're going to get hit hard. And grain, it, 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 these grain products, right, this is some basic foods, okay, that get used every day. You know, your your flour, your, you know, your wheat, okay. You know, all these things are, you know, um, are used to make, you know, basic products. All right, from, you know, your, your, your you know, your noodles, okay. All right, to, to you know, your, 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 your you know, um, your cakes, your bread, so on and so forth, Okay. These are basic, basic, you know, foods. So, you know, just imagine what's going to happen. You know, what the common person, what, what, what the common person is going to start uh, doing. Okay? And it's going to create a whole uprising. It's going to create riots. Home invasions. Death. Okay? O over basic things. I'm going to keep reading. The shortage can mean first, firstly, a significant increase in prices. Okay, so first is going to start off with, you know, pr uh, price increase, you know, increases. Okay, and that's going to, you know, you know, hurt people. People are going to start, they're going to start getting desperate pretty soon. Okay, it's going to cause them to do desperate acts, and then after that, once you know the supplies, you know, gets um cut even more hey people are gonna um people are gonna go nuts okay they're gonna go nuts because they don't have uh, any food in them all right so it says firstly a significant increase in prices and secondly it can mean that we will see unrest in the wider region especially in north africa and the middle east he said at a meeting in brussels okay so it's going to start in europe and then it's going to spread Okay, to those North African countries in the Middle East. All right. Which that's going to create, you know, turmoil. It's going to create wars. There's going to, you're going to start seeing a lot of, uh, uh, you know, conflicts arise very soon worldwide. All right. 
And then I'm going to uh, um, continue reading. It says Russia's military operation in Ukraine has affected um, grain supplies from the two countries, which are major global exporters. The crisis has sent wheat prices soaring in recent weeks to the highest point since 2008. Global pr food prices have also hit historic highs amid supply concerns. Okay. And the reason why this is all happening is because of your uh, because of the wickedness that goes on in this place. That's why these things are occurring. So the Lord's going to use famine to punish you uh, people. Okay, so let's get this 2 Ezra 16 and 18. It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. And right now we're just in the beginning stages of, you know, perilous times. This is just the beginning. Remember that. The beginning of famine and great death. So famines are coming, which is going to um, create what? Great deaths. The beginning of wars, which we're seeing, we're seeing all these things right now. These are just the beginning steps. And people are already hurting. People are already, you know, panicking. So imagine when it, things get harder and harder. Worse and worse. Okay? It says, and the sorrows, or so, it says, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? So what are you going to do when these evils shall come? Okay? What are you going to do? And look, if you're not protected by Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, which that's the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, if you're not protected all right, by these powers, you are not going to make it. You are not going to make it, you know, in the times to come. All right? And it says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. And that word amendment, when you look it up, Basically, it means to um, to improve, basically, like self-improve. Meaning, these things are sent for you to get right. For you to clean up your act. Okay? That's why these things are, you know, uh, sent forth. For you to get, uh, you know, to get uh, right with the Heavenly Father. But you see, the majority of you people, you're going to continue in your wickedness. Okay? That's why it says in verse 20, But for all these things, they shall not turn away from their wickedness. See, you're not going to turn away. You're going to continue in wickedness. You're actually going to in, uh, increase in wickedness. You people are going to get worse and worse, all right? Spiritually speaking, you're going to get worse and worse, okay? And it says, Nor be always mindful of the scourges. And you got, you people out here, you're not going to... Um, Think about these, you know, these plagues as anything. You know, you're, you're going to be, you know, you know, uh, crying and sighing, you know, mo you know, you know, mourning. But you're not going to uh, consider that these things are sent to you because the Heavenly Father's mad. You know? It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And that's what happened, you know, years prior. Everyone was happy that, you know, things were buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one free, you know, 50% off sale, 70% off sale. But now the, 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 these things, all right, aren't there anymore. Now you people are struggling to make, you know, uh, uh, ends meet, man. <laughs> you know, hey, you, you were doing good, you know, a couple years back. Now you're doing terrible. It says... And even then shall evils grow upon earth, which we're seeing. Sword, which they, that's basically going into warfare. Famine. That's what we're seeing right now. And great confusion. Okay? And a lot of you people are going to be confused out here. And the reason why is because you don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You don't understand the scriptures. You don't understand the Heavenly Father's will. So you're going to be through out here. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. See, a lot of you people... You're meant to die from uh, of starvation. You're meant to die like that. And that's a terrible death. That is a terrible death. To die from, you know, not eating and, uh, or not drinking water. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sore destroy. So if you, if you don't die by, you know, famines, you're going to die by warfare. 
That's going to be your judgment. I'm going to jump down to verse 34. In the wars shall their, bride, shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. And this is talking about you uh, you women. Okay? How you're not going to have any um, any husbands anymore. Okay? Not going to have any fathers anymore. This is how they're going to die. Through warfare and through the famines. And that's what's uh, coming to this earth. That's what's here on this earth actually right now. Nothing but warfare. All right, which is leading to a global um, famine, because you, you got you know nations putting sanctions on other nations. You know, um, particular nations where the warfare and conflict is going on, they can't export their goods. Crops are being destroyed because of warfare. You know, or crops aren't even getting planted because you have the men now and the you know all the farmers. They're, they're, they're getting drafted into a war. You know, they're getting drafted into the military so they can fight, you know. <laughs> you see, this is what's coming. This is what's happening too. It's not just coming, it's actually here. So hey, you you people are in a, in a bad, bad case, man. Hey man, th things are going to get worse and worse and worse. You think food prices are high now, you think... Hey, you know, your cost of living is high now. Just keep, hey, continue to wait. And let's see what's going to, you know, happen in the next coming months to, you know, next coming year or two. Let's see how bad it's going to get in America. All right. And uh, let me get um these last scriptures here. I don't want to make this too long. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, said the, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death and destruction. And why is the Lord doing this? Verse 6. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's why the Lord's doing this, because of the wickedness that goes on in this place. Okay? You have... Here's just a few examples. Okay? You have... You know... The, the, the I'll say it like this. The whole alphabet movement going on. Because I don't even want to say particular words because they might take the video down. But you have uh, you have the uh, alphabet, you know, lifestyle, or I, I should really say death style, being pushed, you know, throughout this whole world. Okay? I'll say it like this. Man on man. Woman on woman. Changing of genders. Okay? You know, adults on children. Alright? That's being pushed on the people. You have that whole death style. You have people murdering one another. You have idolatry going on, adultery, okay? And you have people, you know, um, they're shorting, uh, 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 you know, each other, uh, uh, you know, when it comes down to, uh, you know, product, meaning, you know, they're not giving the proper, you know, weights and measures, you know, but, you know, sh pretty much shorting people, you know, <laughs> of the things that they buy, all right, you know? These are just the name of few things. There's so many wicked things that go on in this earth. Okay? Weird sexual acts. You know, group, uh, you know, group, uh, uh, you know, intercourse. All sorts of weird things go on in this place. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy this place and destroy you people, man. Okay? Now let me uh, go down. All right? This is verse 18, for because of the pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And pride, uh, it, it, I'll say this, once pride comes into your, into, into, uh, uh, into your being, what happens is you depart from the Most High, okay? Meaning you don't consider the Most High in His ways. Then if you don't consider the Most High in His ways, what are you going to do? You're going to believe in... Whether it be your philosophies, okay, or whether it be in another man's philosophies, which all lead to what? A death style. Because if you're not following the ways of Yahweh Shemiah all right, your, your ways are going to lead to death. Because the ways of Yahweh Shemiah all is a true lifestyle, a, 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 a successful lifestyle, okay? Because all this stuff is just nothing but a, a failing way to live. And it's evident because everyone dies, okay? And no one, um, 
No one really lives in this place. Okay? Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And this is what's coming very soon. Home invasions. Okay? Robberies. Theft. Because it's not because people are going to, you know, you know, they want the newest iPhone or they want, you know, your computer or your jewelry. People aren't even going to be worried about that stuff very soon. They're going to be worried about water, bread, you know, meats, um, <laughs> you know, uh, vegetables. That's what they're going to be worried about very soon. Okay? They're going to need their daily bread, you know, you know, uh, very soon from you. <laughs> so that's what's coming. All right. And all this is happening because of the wickedness, you know, that occurs, you know, on this planet right now. All right. But um, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this lesson. Hopefully this was an edifying lesson. All right. And with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shemal Shai. Also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.